Hi, my name is Maggie O'Brien and I am a midwifery lecturer at the University of Southampton. I am also the admissions tutor for the three-year BSc midwifery programme. This initial slide shows a student midwife who is listening to the baby's heartbeat using a Pienaard stethoscope, which is a traditional midwifery tool. We would ask you to come to Southampton to be the life changer for the future. We are looking for potential midwives who have a huge heart and have a bright active mind and are able to use their academic ability to, to apply to their clinical practice. The midwife that that will achieve will have wisdom, knowledge and will gain a huge amount of experience. So if you feel that you fulfil that criteria, then we would absolutely love to have you at Southampton. So what is midwifery? Why do we all feel so passionate about midwifery? Well, midwifery is working in partnership with women. And you'll see from this slide that the midwife is supporting the woman through her labour and her contractions. So she would have already supported her through the antenatal period. Um, this is her labour and then she will support her through the postnatal period. Not only will she be supporting the woman, but she will also be supporting her family through this time as well. So why come to Southampton? Well, it's fifth in the world as ranked by the world rankings um, for nursing and midwifery. And it's been ranked as second in the UK. And Southampton has consolidated its experience, its position, and it rises every year. The three-year BSc midwifery programme is 50% in practice and 50% in theory and it's spread in blocks across the year. The, it is a full-time course and most teaching is usually at the university. This is always on weekends and includes lectures, seminars and group work. At the moment, of course, we are, all, of our, all of our teaching is online um, as we go through the COVID pandemic. Uh, this will be reviewed in the future and we will be um, we will be providing our teaching according to the government guidelines. Some lectures are studied with other health students and this is the beginning of your future into professional working and is extremely important. For example, the very first three months you will be looking at depth at anatomy and physiology and that is studied at the same time as nurses, physiotherapists, podiatrists and health scientists. Clinical practice is typically working within the NHS and this is at the Princess Anne Hospital and in the community and birth centres. During this time there will be some unsocial hours and you will work, um, you will work the hours that a midwife works. This may be in the day, in the evening, at the weekends and sometimes you could be on call or work night duty. The midwifery programme timetable is 45 weeks a year with seven weeks um, preset annual leave and these seven weeks will be in the summer at Christmas and at Easter. So what support will you get as a as a student midwife? Well to begin with you are supported by a professional academic tutor. Now I am a personal academic tutor for the first year and um, as I'm the admissions tutor, then I see the, uh, the students that I have appointed into, their, into place through their first year as the personal academic tutor. Each module within each year is supported by a module lead and designed to prepare you for practice. There are expert practitioners and researchers um, that write and teach the content. We have extensive support within the university, which includes enabling services, uh, money and accommodation advice, there's a nightline service, a student union, and for midwifery we have MidSOC, which is our midwifery society, where the students support each other. 
within clinical practice, there are opportunities in every field of midwifery. There's opportunities um, to work in midwifery-led areas and in obstetric-led areas. And that can be in the hospital, in birth centres, across the community and in the home. Our main practice partner is the University Hospital of Southampton NHS Trust. Um, and, this is, and the maternity service is situated in Princess Anne. There are approximately 6,000 births per year and a national reputation for high quality research and innovative maternity care. So what about your midwifery career? Why would you want to be a midwife? Well, personally, I've, had, I've never regretted training as a midwife many years ago. It has been the best decision of my life. I have worked across the UK. I've worked uh, in Southampton, in Worthing, in London. And I've also worked as a director of midwifery in Auckland, in New Zealand. So I have had the most wonderful opportunities um, because I trained as a midwife. I was lucky enough to be elected as the president of the Royal College of Midwives. Um, and in that role, I, um, I, I went across the world looking at different types of midwifery service. But you can, you can practice midwifery in any setting that you wish. You could, um, you could focus on, on the needs of specific groups of women. And within Southampton, we have, we have nest groups, which are women that need extra support. Um, and they are people with, with social issues and vulnerabilities that need extra support for those. You could, also, you could take a leadership role in midwifery practice, you could become an independent midwife, you could be a consultant midwife, you could be a teacher, or you could be a researcher. There are many, many things that you can do as a midwife. And at Southampton, we are very proud of the different careers that our students have, um, have, have taken. The students themselves um, report there that they are happy um, at Southampton and happy with the Southampton experience. And, uh, and our, our surveys um, usually ref will always reflect this. You will have the opportunity to speak to students uh, within, the, women, within the, uh, the virtual online sessions that we are planning for the future. The midwifery team at Southampton um, consists of midwives, educators, researchers and leaders. The programme lead is Dr Ellen Kitson Reynolds and I am the admissions tutor Maggie O'Brien. There is my email address should you wish to email me about anything um, to do with the programme. Please feel free to do that and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much for listening.